I'm John, that's bros. Let's get some news in. For lunch today, there will be chicken verde burrito bowl, bean and cheese burrito, and what a shocker, pizza. <laughs> a Russian woman living in New York City was sentenced to 21 years in jail for poisoning her doppelganger with a poisonous cheesecake. A jury convicted Victoria Nazarova, 47, of attempting murder, assault, and other charges in February. Greens District Attorney Melinda Kotz announced her sentence this week, nearly 70 years after the made-for-TV incident. A ruthless calculating con artist is going to prison for a long time for trying to murder her way to personal profit and gain, Katz said in a statement. Thankfully, the victim survived, and the attack on their life were able to deliver justice to her. After spending almost a year and a half in near-total isolation, some 230 feet underground, Beatrice Flamini emerged from a cave in southern Spain. The climber had entered the cave in Granada on November 21st of 2021, determined to spend 500 days alone and monitored from afar by a group of scientists to explore the effects of isolation on the human body and mind. Flamini was 48 years old when she went down and 50 when she officially completed the challenge on Friday. That sucks. Our, did you know that, why'd you write it like that, JD? Did you know that global warming could be raising your chances of seeing a home run ball? A new study published in the Bulletin of American Meteorological Society looked at six, 60 years of baseball data and, and daily temperatures, finding that air made thinner by warmer conditions accounted for 1% of home runs on average from 2010 to 2019. Climate change is not just heat waves or hurricanes, explains Christopher Callahan, a climate scientist PhD student at Dartmouth College. It's these subtle changes in our leisure activities that are going to start affecting people, people more and more in the ways we may not realize it. Spain's parliament on Thursday banned bullfighting events featuring dwarves dressed in costumes. Dwarves in Spain have long dressed as firefighters or clowns to chase bulls without killing them at public spectacles designed to be humorous. The tradition stretches back decades but has declined in popularity. The law approved on Thursday brings Spain into line with the European Union directives on discrimination against disabled people and was hailed by campaigners, quote, we have overcome the Spain of the past, and quote, said Jesus Martin, the director general of Spain's Royal Board on Disabilities, which advises the social rights ministry that pushed the ban forward in Parliament. This past Saturday, a very own Payne Durham was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the fifth round of the 2023 NFL draft. Congrats, Payne. For today's weather, it will be a high of 68 and a low of 46. That's all the news you have for today. Ridge Country, let's, let's ride. ride.